Today we are going to discuss about the second step, second phase of exhaust monophosphate chain that is non-oxidative phase. Uh, in previous lecture we discussed about the oxidative phase and the end product of the oxidative phase was 6 molecule of ribulose 5-phosphate which enter into the non-oxidative phase and uh, in this phase the ribulose 5-phosphate is converted into two molecules that is xylulose 5-phosphate and ribose 5-phosphate in the presence of two enzymes but the first enzyme is epimerase enzyme epimerase Enzyme. Epimerase enzyme is responsible for the conversion of ribulose 5-phosphate into uh, xylulose and another enzyme that is keto -al keto isomerase keto -isomerase. This keto isomerase enzyme is responsible for the conversion of uh, ribulose 5-phosphate into ribose 5-phosphate and another enzyme here that is transketolase trans Ketolase. This transketolase enzyme convert ribulose 5-phosphate and uh, ribose 5-phosphate. This xylulose 5-phosphate and ribose 5-phosphate, they unite, get to react with each other and in the presence of this transketolase enzyme convert it into another product that is pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and these two molecules that is pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate they again convert into another two molecules in the presence of enzyme name known as transaldolase this transaldolase enzyme converted the pseudoheptulose and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate into erythrose 4-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate in the presence of enzyme. And here the erythrose 4-phosphate uh, will react with the first initial product of this that is xylulose 5-phosphate. This erythrose 5-phosphate and xylulose 5-phosphate they react with each other and form two further product that is uh, fructose 6-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and this fructose 6-phosphate then finally converted into glucose 6-phosphate and the fructose 6-phosphate uh, which was formed here in the reaction of pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate uh, pseudo and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate they again in converted into glucose 6-phosphate uh, so we can say that the end product of the the whole oxidative and the non-oxidative phase of the uh, hexose monophosphate shunt was the production of uh, glucose 6-phosphate and NADPH. So in a quick view, there is glucose 6-phosphate will react with in this step and 12 molecule of 12 molecule of NAD positive plus six molecule of water molecule will react and the end product that form that is uh, the five molecule of glucose six phosphate plus twelve molecule of NADH NADPH and six molecule of carbon dioxide. So we can say that this is the whole about the exhaust monophosphate shunt.